Good morning, everybody who's here today. Um, we're here to inaugurate the PYM CECPC. These young men and women of noble repute have been carefully selected and mandated by all well-meaning young stakeholders of our great party, the APC, to plan and execute our convention before the end of February 2022. We are aware of the plethora of issues within the party. Our party has had a history of shying away from true reconciliation and in many cases inflicting chastisement on members that have, been, have, that have not been rewarded for their efforts towards building the APC. We will be setting up a reconciliatory committee today also um, who, are, who will be mandated to help us reconcile all our group members across the country. It is clear that the last couple of years the party has been on a regressive course and it is necessary for all well-meaning party members to roll up our sleeves and do the needful to ensure we are able to correct our mistakes and also win back the trust of the Nigerian people. I would advise all members to look inwards and understand the need to do things differently so that we can ensure we win back the trust of Nigerians and continue to enjoy the leadership that the party enjoys today at the national and state levels. Let's join hands and strengthen our internal democracy in our party, the APC, and show Nigerians that we truly deserve their vote in 2023. Without further ado, I would like to read out the list of our new caretaker committee members to be inaugurated today. The chairman, Prince Mustafa Muna Audu. The vice chair, Tukur Tukur Buratai. Vice chair South, Busayo Akin, Akin Deju. Southwest Representative Honorable Omoomi Ogum Baibi, Southeast Representative Barisan Nonso Mwebili, South South Representative Prince Godswill Edward, North Central Representative Dr. Ibrahim Abdul, Northeast Representative Honorable Ibrahim A. Waziri, Northwest Representative Bello ba Bala Shagari, Senate Representative Senate Ahmed Ibrahim Lawan, House of Reps Representative Honorable Femi Bajamiala, Physically challenged, Sajo X. Kafini. Youth Representative, Ambassador Dr. Young Pero. Women Representative, Honorable Fatima Lawal Rafindadi. Secretary, Honorable Tonya Iso Kareri. <laughs> Members of our Reconciliatory Committee. Chairperson, Dr. Hassan Sadiq Arivi. Secretary, Honorable Gwenga Saka. Members, Barista Emmanuel. Member Princess Zahra Mustafa Audu, Member Honorable Aaron Arogane Oiboro, Member Honorable Joseph Imona, Member Professor Ali Alao, Member Honorable Na, Na, sorry, forgive me, Narisa Gerald Pigo, Member Honorable Sani Abdul Sadauna Shaba, Member Honorable Alex Ochacho, Advisory Committee, led to be led by our very own President, uh, President Mohammed Dubuhari. Um, the Secretary of the Advisory Committee, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, um, members, Head of State Abdul Salami Abubakar, the Oni of Ife, Senator Vivian Okadibo, Governor Malam Nasir El Rufai, Governor Muhammad Badaru Abubakar, Governor Babangida Umar Zulum, Governor Babajide Sangwa Olu, Akin Wumi Adeshino, Amina J. Muhammad. I will now call on the PYM CECPC to please take a stand um, to take their oath of allegiance. By the, by the due legation upon myself, I do the upon myself. Thank God. Congratulations. Thank you. First and foremost, I want to thank Almighty Allah for His blessings and for bringing us all this far. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. The youth have finally taken over our great party, the APC. We have been set with a clear task to deliver a convention in two months. This means accomplishing a task in two months that the previous committee was unable to accomplish in 20 months. I must say that I look forward to giving it my all, and I am sure that with the support of this wonderful new CECPC, 
and of course the leadership of the PYM, which we will continue to report to, we will accomplish our task, God willing. To hit the ground running, we must have clear aims, objectives, milestones, deliverables, and timelines. These deliverables are listed below. Number one, we have set a date of Saturday, 26 February 2022, as the date of the APC National Convention at the Eagle Square. Number two, we have released the zoning formula of the party. This zoning formula of the party is known as the mandate of the youth. And this mandate of the youth will be read out shortly. Number three, to begin the national reconciliatory process in our great party, the APC. Number four, to begin planning the February 26th, 2022 APC National Convention and to make sure that all APC stakeholders are reconciled before the convention. Number five, to carry out a successful and rancor-free APC National Convention that will get the party ready and geared up for the 2023 general elections. Today is a day of joy for me because today we have finally put the opposition to shame. The issue of violation of our APC constitution and the Nigerian constitution has now been resolved. Young people have now assumed real responsibilities and we are ready to deliver. While the opposition are preparing to bring back the same recycled leaders that have ruined Nigeria while playing lip service to youth involvement, our great party, the APC, especially our president, President Muhammadu Buhari, has decided to change tact and give real positions and responsibilities to the young stakeholders of the APC. In the words of Mr. President, if you want to see something different, you have to be willing to do something different. Today, as I take on this new position of authority on behalf of young people, you will begin to immediately see new beginnings for our great party, the APC, and in turn, our dear country, Nigeria. We will immediately begin to cultivate an enabling environment for a fair and equitable convention that will produce a mix of young and older credible leaders that will lead Nigeria to a better future and ensure our victory in 2023 and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future. Our journey to a new Nigeria has just begun. Ready to lead? Now or never. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me present to you what we have all been waiting for, this document known as the Mandate of the Youth. This document is what every single young, well-meaning Nigeria, Nigerian wants. And this is how Nigeria will be rescued. We will read. The mandate of the youth is also known as the APC zoning formula for the February 26, 2022 APC National Convention. The chairman of our great party will be zoned to the north. The deputy chairman, of, the, the deputy chairman south will be for members of the party 45 years and below. And the Deputy Chairman North will be for female members of the party 45 years and below. National Secretary will be zoned to the South, and the Deputy National Secretary will be zoned to the North, with the Deputy National Secretary maximum cutoff age will be 45 years or below. The National Vice Chairman for the six geopolitical zones are Northwest, Northeast, North, uh, North Central, Southwest, Southeast, and South South, of which North Central will be given to a female below the age of 45, and Southwest will also be given to a female below the age of 45. The National Legal Advisor will be from the North. The Deputy National Legal Advisor will be from the South, also 45 years and below. The National Treasurer will be from the South, and the Deputy National Treasurer will be from the North, again 45 years and below. National Financial Secretary will be from the North, Deputy National Financial Secretary from the South, again 45 years and below. National Organizing Secretary from the North, Deputy National Organizing Secretary from the South, 45 years and below. National Publicity Secretary from the South, 45 years and below, because we need a young person to represent the party and speak pro properly to the young Nigerians on issues affecting them and affecting our great party. The Deputy Nas National Publicity Secretary will be from the North, again 45 years and below. Our National Welfare Secretary will be from the South, 
while the Deputy National Welfare Secretary will be from the North, again 45 years and below. The National Auditor will be from the North, with the Deputy National Auditor from the South, 45 years and below. National Women Leader from the South, Deputy National Women Leader from the North. National Youth Leader from the South, Deputy National Youth Leader from the North. We expect that any well-meaning politician, any well-meaning leader in Nigeria will sign on to this document, especially of the APC extraction. We have left position to have their signature and the date, and all well-meaning APC leaders have agreed to sign on to this document, and any leader that doesn't sign up to this document does not believe in young people and should and not and never be voted for again. They are the enemies of Nigeria, they are the enemies of young people, and we must eliminate them and remove them from our polity in order for Nigeria to improve. As a final caveat, no national leader will be responsible for producing young candidates. The Progressive Youth Movement, PYM, will work with other youth groups in the APC and will be responsible for presenting young, credible candidates that will represent our party going forward. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.